what's in the bag, you ask? <laughs> well, here it is. I've laid out quite a bit of things here for you to consider. And really, what you need to just consider is not have maybe these exact things, but something in these categories that covers the eight pillars of survival. Security and shelter, fire, food and water, to medical, signal, navigation, you know, getting where you need to go, as well as communication. And all of these things here are things you need to consider to put in your bag. You may not have these exact things, but again, it goes back to what can you afford, what are your needs, and what are your skill sets. The first thing I want to talk about is security. I consider that part of shelter. And if you're trying to get from your work or wherever you're at, to back to your vehicle and then back from your vehicle to home and then you're bugging out, security is a key thing. So first off, I would say a good pistol. Make sure you have the training for this and all that, but a good pistol, it's inconspicuous, it's lightweight, easy to handle compared to a longer weapon like a shotgun. And uh, you can carry this easily in several magazines to make sure you have enough to, to back yourself up and protect yourself. Uh, next, you know, uh, shotguns are always good. This one here is a, is a great shotgun uh, by Typhoon. I've got this nice sling on it by Warrior Poet Society. It's uh, pretty critical. If I really am wanting to protect myself and things are really bad, I'm probably gonna go for a longer item like a shotgun. Shotguns are a great choice for you because when you fire a shotgun round, like a 12 gauge, it's gonna spray, it's gonna hit a bigger pattern. And normally once you start firing a shotgun, whoever is trying to do bad things to you, they're gonna take notice and usually get the heck out of there. Uh, and then, you know, we have a lot of military folks out there that just love a good, uh, a good AR. And AR, it's a longer weapon. Yes, you're gonna draw attention to yourself, but these are great, not only for protecting yourself, but a five, 0.56 millimeter round. If you have to get some food, you know, you got a good weapon that you know is gonna be able to take down a deer or something and help keep yourself fed. And for me on my EDC, you know, this is a good, you know, survival knife. I could use it for a survival test, but I like it because it's flat. And when I put it here on my sheath, I can carry it very flat to my body. No one will even know I have it from wearing it up underneath here it's flat, you won't even see it. So I have another way to defend myself should I lose my firearm, which is never gonna happen, but it could. And I have something else to defend with. And it also doubles, because it's made out of 1095 high carbon steel, means it'll throw a spark when I need fire. It's a good survival knife. So that's security. Now let's talk about shelter. If I have to set up shelter, you know, I have a backup knife that's in the pack. It's a nice, good, just about a, a five to six inch blade. Got a good handle. It's a uh, full tang blade, meaning the steel goes all the way back here to the handle. I love full tang blades. I recommend them highly when you're, you know, trying to pick out a good knife for yourself for survival tasks. Because the other knives, in my opinion, you know, a rat tail knife as they call it, st or a stick handle, uh, even folding knives. There's a there's a possibility of them breaking. And with the full tang, if something happens to the grip, what they call the scales, I can wrap it in parachute cord like this one. I can use tape. I can easily put something back. I can fashion out of wood two more new scale handles. But the point is I can make a new handle with a full tang and it's full steel. The great thing about these items is there's a, this is skeletized in here. You, can't, you can kind of see those indents in there. If I want to with this paracord, I can wrap extra survival items in there like fishing hooks or tinder or something, great items. And they'll help me with building shelter. Uh, I like to hedge my bets. I'm not gonna be carrying an ax all the time, but axes are great for building shelter. A good machete is always helpful. This one isn't too long, but it's long enough to do good chopping, clear some brush out of the way, it's not too heavy. You know, a lot of these uh, axes you carry out there, woodsman axes, they can be a lot of weight. A good saw, good for cutting firewood, if you have to make your shelter, you can cut a few poles out. Cordage, parachute cord. Uh, there's some cord out there they call fire cord. It has fire tinder inside weaved in with it. It's good for making all kinds of things. Not helping you just with shelter, but fishing line, traps, you know, all types of cordage. Any types of cordage you can have is good uh, in a survival situation, especially with shelter. So emergency survival blankets are awesome. There's many kind out there. There's some really cheap mylar ones that tear very easily. There's some that are uh, almost thick enough that you can almost use them as a tarp shelter. And there's some rubberized ones. But the 
key thing with these is that they have a silver side to them. That's what protects your core body temperature. So hypothermia is always an enemy out there in a survival situation, just as well as overheating. So anytime you can shade yourself, keep you cooled down, or keep yourself warm, I highly recommend it. And this is like a multi-purpose item. It's also part of shelter, protecting your core body temperature. You can turn it around if you have a shelter built, like a lean-to or something, you got a fire going, the silver side will reflect heat down onto you and keep you really warm. And if you're looking to get rescued, you know, nice orange stands out. You can turn up the silver side, people are going to take notice. And it also falls into the medical kit as well. These ponchos are amazing. It's like the ponchos you used to have in the military. And they're lightweight. And here, I got two of them. So I can button them together and make an entire shelter, a tent, a really big lean-to area. If I have to, I can wear it uh, as I'm moving. Keeps me dry. You want to protect your core body temperature, it's very important. These things are awesome. It's a bivy sack, which is not, it's not quite a sleeping bag, but with your clothes on, you get one of these things, man, for a quick few hours of sleep, this is great. It's very lightweight, compact. Look at that thing. It's basically the size of my, my hand almost. And if you wrap it with an emergency blanket, you know, kind of curl up with this a little bit more, anything to protect your core body temperature, this is very handy. I, I highly recommend it. With these items here, I've got many ways to make shelter. We talked about the Shermog earlier. That's always a handy thing to have. Next, I want to stay warm. So I got fire considerations. Remember, I always say backup to the backup. That's why I got extra knife. That's why I got a couple ways to make a shelter. I've got several ways to make fire. Lighter, all right? We're living in uncertain times. We have pandemics, natural disasters, civil unrest, and even war. And you need to be ready for this. I'm E.J. Snyder, extreme survivalist, 25-year Army combat vet. I'm bringing you my years of knowledge and experience to help you in this situation. Yeah, sure, you probably see me out there on Naked and Afraid, Dual Survival, and First Man Out. But I'm more than just a wilderness survivalist. I'm a total survivalist. And that doesn't mean just being out there in the wilderness. That means here at home, too. And we've put together the ultimate bug-in and home defense guide. In this guide is critical information that can save you and your loved one's life. In this guide, things included are a get home bag, how to set your vehicle up to get yourself home. And when you get home, how to set that up for defense to protect your loved ones, all your supplies, and things you really need when trouble comes knocking on your door. This guide is designed for everyone. No matter what your background or your circumstances, whether you're living in the city or in a rural area, whatever your budget is, this is the framework for you to defend your home and be prepared for anything. Why are you just sitting there on the couch? You gotta start planning for the ultimate bugging and home defense. Things not gonna fix itself, you little maggot. Get up off your butt, go hit that button down there and get yours today.